Everybody. <clears throat> hey, Brandy, Carolina, uh, Catherine, Christine, Courtney, Jamie, Liz, Lynn. How's it going, everybody? Uh, we're uh, live. Uh, well, we're live now. Uh, but uh, we we'll start at three, so I'm just giving people that extra moment to uh, join us. Um, we've got about 53 people signed up for this uh, webinar. Uh, they may be, uh, you know, jumping in late or watching later. So I'll kind of give a couple minutes, um, you know, for everyone to catch up and get in. Uh, we're now up to 12 people. Great, Kelly, welcome. Lynn, welcome. Renee, sister, how's it going? Susan, welcome, welcome. Um, we've got two chats. Uh, so uh, if you put your um, cursor on the bottom of your screen, for those of you new to Zoom, you'll see the microphone icon for your volume, uh, your video. Uh, you'll see participants, Q&A uh, box, and the chat box. So the chat box is uh, where you can post messages, uh, talk to me directly. Um, you can post questions in the Q&A as well. Um, if you click on that, just pose the question and uh, we'll go from there. We only have an hour together, so I'm going to go fast and uh, yeah, it, it's just going to be a quick one because I have something else to do. Funny enough, the one day uh, that I have lots to do is the day I, I, I pick a webinar. I've been kind of um, bored uh, <laughs> the last couple days uh, trying to go within, trying to meditate. Uh, I have my son this week with me and homeschooling was just a shit show. So we've been going outside to walk and get some nice sunshine and fresh air uh, while it's still allowed because I can see that kind of changing in the near future. So um, grab some water, have some water nearby. Uh, pen and paper, not a bad idea. I believe I am recording this session. So I believe you can have a replay afterwards. Um, yes, I am doing good considering. Well, yeah, I'm not complaining, Alin. Uh, yeah, financially, I'm in trouble with a lot of people in my industry, but hopefully that new emergency benefit support that kicks in in April will help. Um, what's really interesting, Lynn, is landlords are screwed. Like, I, I'm a tenant. And uh, mortgage companies are not waiving uh, tenant-owned, or sorry, tenant-occupied rental properties. Um, so I've got a ton of friends who uh, make good money, but then have leveraged, you know, rental properties and the tenants pay their bills and the mortgage company is happy normally. Uh, but now the tenants are losing their jobs. They may be self-employed like myself. And uh, the mortgage companies are now saying if it's not your primary residence, too bad. So we'll see what happens to the rental property uh, community, uh, especially the bigger um businesses uh you know that home, own the big buildings millions of dollars of rent so it'll be an interesting um economic uh healing we, we shall see so uh it's 302 let me just see how many more people have jumped online we've got 18 uh let's double check sorry i've got to get in close guys because uh i've got um the way i oh hey derek welcome uh brandy welcome uh i need glasses and even my own glasses uh, uh welcome Ellen, uh jen bouchard jonathan laroe welcome julie Catherine kelly uh all the new people sarah uh, stefan from germany Woohoo! you're the furthest baby you're the furthest you're the furthest friends in germany love it uh okay so we're gonna start as a reminder set your messages to all panelists attendees so all can see your comments yes well how do i do that christine emmon sorry christine emmon's talking to me on the chat box um my mom is having trouble signing in well she had problems getting in anyway so bottom of page uh sarah finn i'm not sure how i can help my mom uh so uh thanks christine i think i just said all panelists i'm not sure if that worked um yeah she had problems signing in uh, in general so um she may have to watch the replay 
Zoom is a funny place. It's like PayPal. There's no real person to talk to, uh, especially now. So um, it's one of those things. All right, so we're going to start. So uh, what I wanted to do, for, like again, many of you have been jumping online with me uh, the last week or so. Uh, some of you have done my meditation night. Uh, some of you have been doing my, um, what was the other one I did? Another webinar. Right now, we're in flux, right? So the whole universe is doing this quantum shift. Uh, we're up leveling. It's a very, very, very good thing that is using a very, very, very scary thing to make people, you know, change. Uh, as is the human way. Uh, so whether the virus is from a bat or uh, a cabal government man-made, it's here. The vibration of the, the frequency, though, it, uh, of the virus uh, vibrates at a certain, um, well, a certain hertz. So what you need to do is combat that lower vibration hertz with a higher vibration one. So if you want to check out um, the work of Dr. David Hawkins, he invented the scale, the level of consciousness. Many of you, uh, you know, who, who follow me know well about David Hawkins scale. It's the emotional scale. Um, you can go level of consciousness. I'll post it in the, the Facebook feed. Um, I, I'll post a picture of it in the Facebook event page. Uh, you could just go online right now and see it. It's basically sort of two triangles. Okay. Uh, lower vibration is fear you know, apathy, grief, uh, anger. Uh, then the tipping point is neutrality, acceptance. Acceptance is the tipping point. Higher up is hope, faith, joy, love. Love being the highest, okay? So what we are trying to do is always, like as according to uh, our friends, uh, you know, um, not Bashar, oh my God, Abraham, uh, is go downstream, go with the flow. And you, the flow in this case is love. Take the love vibration that is trying to create quantum change, that is trying to up-level humanity's DNA, uh, electrons, and our vibrating, um, you know, beingness, um, trying to change our way of thinking, trying to change our way of the economic system, um, trying to change our, 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 the way we pollute the earth, uh, you know, how we eat, what, how we buy, um, our, our politics, all of it. it. It's the quantum, quantum change that's happening. Um, many people think, though, this event, um, is just simply a test. It's not the big event. It's not the big one. Um, it's just a test one to see how you're going to do. You know, do you remain calm? Do you have enough stuff at home? Are you being responsible with your money? Are you re being responsible with your health, uh, with your physical, you know, um, what you're eating, what you're ingesting? Of course, we want to have the highest vibration foods possible, um, clean water, chemical free, clean fluoride, clean free water. Uh, as much, as much, as much as possible. Um, so you can take this, you know, in so many different directions. What I'm going to do is just sort of do a general overview. For many of you, this is going to be basics 101. And then at the end, I'm going to do a guided meditation that will help you again, remember, reshield yourself, reground, reconnect to heaven and earth, uh, you know, create a force field of energy around you that you have to do uh, several times a day. Um, I recommend every time you pee, doing it several times a day to reinforce your frequency your so that your excuse me that you're vibrating at the highest possible frequency that you can get to in that moment so even if you're feeling sad and anxious understand that there are dips and valleys that are happening in the quantum um humanity is crying there's a lot of uh, you know, nature is rejoicing but humanity is crying because we're losing our ability you know, to function the way we did. So the old is leaving, the new hasn't yet happened. So we're in the tipping point, right? Or what's called the trapeze point. When you're letting go of one bar, trying to grab to the other bar, but you're in that three second, you know, space of like, oh shit, is this gonna happen? So it's an act of faith and surrender. We're currently in the biggest, one of the biggest acts of faith and surrender our planet has ever seen. Um, so yes, go out and, um, you know, sort of don't go out, practice social distancing, wash your hands, wash your fruit, get rid of your containers from the, you know, um, the grocery store. Um, don't touch things. Don't touch your mouth. Do follow all the government rules and regulations for the coronavirus. But at the same point, internalize it and become the antidote, you know, the anti, uh, or the joy, the joy dote. Um, because there's so many ways we can do that and still enjoy life, still breathe in the fresh air, still welcome the sun in the spring, still connect to friends uh, while the internet lasts. 
um, and uh, you know, get through this as best we can because everyone really is in the same boat. So I'm gonna start with a couple basic, again, things that I just want to remind you what you can do. So in terms of crystals, uh, you know, people like me love our crystals. I'm wearing a bunch right now. Uh, girls wear them in their bras, in their pockets. So crystals are one way of vibrating at um, a higher frequency because all crystal minerals uh, vibrate at uh, the planetary, um, I think it's 346 is the planetary uh, frequency. Um, so using your crystals, wearing your crystals, activating your crystals if you have them at home. Kids naturally gravitate them, putting them around their beds, especially around your head at night if there's a side table, under your pillow, under your mattress, good places to have them, in your shoes, uh, in your bra, as long as they're round and smooth so they don't hurt you. Some really good crystals right now are, um, so hematite, hematite's for grounding. Uh, hematite's that sort of, um, it looks like silver. It's a sheen, silver, gray stone. It's very heavy. Uh, it keeps you in your body. It keeps you in the ground. And the best place for us to all to be right now is grounded in the earth, on the earth grid, as it shifts and moves, as it is taking sort of the hits from the, uh, it's like the tree branches uh, moving, but the, the roots of the tree, the, the, the trunk of the tree is, is static. It's staying put. Uh, another one for like the radiation kind of stuff, um, shungite. Uh, S-H-U-N-G-H-I-T, shungite, it's from Russia. Uh, it's been proven to be an anti, uh, literally an anti-radiation um, uh, stone. Um, you know, people in Chernobyl use it quite often. Uh, again, it's a good repellent for frequencies that are lower. Uh, you can buy them pocket stones, you can buy them as lanyards. Uh, again, it comes on all shapes and sizes. You don't necessarily need a big piece of any of these stones for them to work. So shungite's a good one. Uh, blue lace agate, again, it's for anxiety. Uh, there's so much anxiety in the world right now, again, driven largely by uh, security and finances. Um, so having a piece of blue lace agate, which is really commonly found, um, you can get things online or you know shop local and see if your local uh, crystal store will do deliveries or, or um, pickups at the door. That's how a lot of them are doing it. Uh, lapidolite, beautiful stone. I should have been wearing mine. I'm not. Um, lapidolite's purple. Again, it's for grief. It's for um, lungs. It's for anti-lung, um, wet lung, it's called in Chinese medicine. Um, so it was definitely something that would help during uh, these situations where we're out of control. Perhaps you're crying, you're mourning something. If you've had a job loss, or someone you love is far away, there's an element of grief that we're um, you know, moving through, that would be very helpful. Uh, fluorite, which is also very beautiful. Um, fluorite for emotions. Fluorite's really great for kids. Uh, sorry, they're, they're just downloading more uh, when I'm speaking right now. Uh, rainbow tourmaline. Tourmaline, that is rainbow color. It's a little on the rarer side. I've got a big, big chunk somewhere. I just can't remember where I've stashed it. Um, it's a great one for this time, and again, especially great for young children. Um, so if you're having, and you know, lots of emotions running through you, really use our mineral kingdom right now. Really use uh, those elements. And here's the thing. If you can't physically get to a particular stone, let's say you're reading a blog or an expert um, column, a, like a crystal column or something, just bring in the vibration of that particular uh, crystal. So I call on the vibration of rainbow tourmaline to surround me. And even if you've never seen it, you don't know what it does, rainbow tourmaline does. So by intention, you are calling in the frequency of that intelligent mineral uh, kingdom to be part of your experience. So it could be part of your shield that we'll do later today together. It could be part of your mantra, your meditation, your prayer, uh, your visualization. So bring the physical crystal, but if you can't, for whatever reason, economics or access, bring the vibration of the crystal with you. So that's the crystal kingdom. So let's talk about um, you know, foods. Again, this is basic stuff, guys, so you guys know a lot of that. Um, you know, um, having the garlic, the turmeric, um, 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 your ginger around a lot, um, all good antiviral, you know, Google antiviral foods, and really start having a lot of that fresh um, energy around you. So even if it's sort of, um, my ginger is actually part of my um, medicine cabinet. Uh, I have garlic and ginger beside all the sort of other things that I use. 
uh, to help me if someone gets a cold or a cough. And again, we are in that season. We're in seasonal uh, energies. We're also in a flu season. So, you know, regular flu is going to scare a lot of people. So managing your diet so that you can strengthen your immune system, totally on point these days, really paying attention to what you eat, uh, low on the processed foods and the crap. The more crap you put in your body, the less you're going to be able to fight anything. Higher vibration foods, uh, again, alive foods, legumes, um, you know, the greens, the spirulinas, uh, the, anything that's antiviral. Uh, in terms of um, homeopathic and other, so uh, thieves oil from Young Living would be a really great asset to have in your uh, tickle trunk of uh, home care products. It's, um, I believe you can take it orally, topically, and it actually is a great cleaner. Like, let me just double check on the, uh, on the oral. Uh, please Google that because I've, I've forgotten how that works. But thieves oil is a great product to have. Uh, Deuteras On Guard is actually designed for this kind of thing. Um, I'm not saying it will uh, beat the coronavirus, but will, it will help you strengthen your immune system so that when you do go out in the world, uh, you know, you'll be more, uh, more energized. Um, so those are some really neat products you can get online. Again, a lot of those people are doing their thing online these days. Um, oregano oil. Back to the comment about the ginger and the turmeric and the, um, the garlic. Um, getting some oil of oregano. Again, the, one of the best antiviral things you could ever have in your tickle chunk. Uh, you can take it orally. It's disgusting, but it works. It's kind of like Buckley's. Or you can rub it on the soles of your feet at night, which is what I'm actually recommending a lot of us do right now. So I've started to do that with my son. I put a sock on him and I rub um, a couple drops of, um, you know, uh, oregano oil and massage it into his, the base of his feet. Um, that will also be a, an easier way of ingesting oregano oil. Um, again, please Google all this to make sure uh, that your current medical, like if you take any pharmaceutical medicine, it's not contraindicated for your situation. Um, these are general comments so you have to sort of see if it fits your life, okay? Because uh, everyone's situation is different. Smudging your space. So smudging your space with sage or sweetgrass. Put the Palo Santo away for now, okay? Right now, Palo Santo is not your, the one you want. You want sage or sweetgrass and you really want to um, smudge your house, I'll be honest, once a day. So smudging uh, your, your space with sweetgrass or smudge um, there is actually scientific studies proving that it actually combats um, the juice in the air. So airborne viruses or germs. So once a day, not a bad idea, especially since we're all at home lately, um, you know, for the foreseeable future. So I used to do, you know, smudging once a week. Now I'm doing once a day. And by the way, our old grandmothers did this. This is, was part of their religious um, devotion. Um, they used frankincense. Frankincense is another great little sort of resin that you can buy uh, online. A copal, C-O-P-A-L, would be another wonderful thing to use. It blasts the energy. Uh, it's a really cleaning um, energy space. Um, I do it more for um, changing thoughts, changing negative energy to positive energy. So I do the sage and sweetgrass more for antiviral. Uh, effects. Okay. Uh, do your research. Tons of information online these days about all these plant medicines um, that you can use. Uh, any questions so far? Uh, in Chinatown, um, any questions? Let me just check. Uh, not so much. Uh, so um, Chinese medicine. So Ping Fat Li is, if you're from Ottawa, it's a Chinese um, pharmacy on um, Somerset near Bronson. Um, Google it. I forget the address. Uh, Eddie is the owner, Eddie and his wife. Um, he is a Chinese, I don't know if he's a doctor of Chinese medicine, uh, what his credentials are, but the guy knows so much about so many things. So for the antiviral lung thing, so for wet lung, I regularly get bronchitis. My weakness is my throat and my lungs. You know, breath of life, it can go low for grief. I've been grieving actively, my sister, for a couple years now. My, my power of speech is my power. So when I go weak, my throat kind of will go out on me. So he has a lung. Um, you'd have to ask him what it is. I can try and find you the bottle's picture. It's all in Chinese. So wouldn't necessarily really help you. Uh, but when you walk in, um, I think they're still open. Or you can call. 
to get the order. You're looking for something for wet lung, again, it's a Chinese term, or bronchitis, uh, or wet cough. So uh, they have a pill, and again, you want to double check. It's not contraindicated for your current medical regime. It's only $10 for a big, big bottle. It's really inexpensive. Um, I have that on hand no matter what. I do not believe you're allowed to give that to children. It's an adult only um, remedy. Uh, but look at your local Chinese medicine um, provider, uh, whether that's a doctor of Chinese medicine or like us, we, we've got a Chinatown. So, you know, Ping Fat Lee is the Chinese pharmacy. Uh, really inexpensive. You don't need a prescription. And when I used to get sick, it actually was the one thing that got me better within a day. I remember four weeks being really, really ill in bed, and it was the one thing that worked. So I invite you to consider Chinese medicine in your local community, uh, seeing how they can support you through uh, some of these physical symptoms. Uh, the other thing I had in my head was Chinese medicine, and I lost it. Uh, sorry, I had it and I lost it. It'll come back. I'm asking it to come back. Come back, come back, come back. It was around Chinese medicine. Ah, 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 ping fat Lee. Okay, don't know, it left. Um, again, this particular, uh, the, the big virus hits the lungs, right? So we want to keep our lungs as clean as clear as possible. Um, doing forgiveness, daily forgiveness. I forgive myself, I forgive him, I forgive her, I forgive them. I forgive life, I forgive God, uh, or whatever you call it, uh, the universe. Uh, doing that on a daily basis, that's as short as it gets. I forgive myself, I forgive him, I forgive her, I forgive them, I forgive the others. The more you do that, the, the, it, it will sort of alleviate the phlegmy stuff that's coming up around grief. Homeopathic, it's um, Ignatia. The little pills you can buy. I do believe a lot of the Nutrichems are still open. Um, the rainbow food type stores, the whole foods types, um, they may be limiting um, you know, number of customers, uh, but getting homeopathic Ignatia, I-G-N-A-T-I-A -A -A, uh, for grief, which is let wet lung, would also be helpful during this sort of situation that we're facing with the big virus, okay? Um, what's really interesting to me is if you look at the sort of conspiracy theorist blogs, which I am one, I'll be honest, um, they're saying that the virus has been acclimatized, that we're actually harmonizing with the virus, that the virus isn't peaking, um, that you're just seeing people's uh, sort of latent symptoms being revealed now, but that in general that the planet is harmonizing with the virus. So everything wants to be loved. It wants to be seen. It, you know, the more we project negative energy at the virus, we're actually making it bigger. So the more we're sending love to it, we're actually being able to contain it, collapse it, and let us let it throw, flow through us. And that's what they're saying about kids. Again, doctors don't know why kids aren't that affected by it in terms of the symptomology. Um, a lot of people are saying because kids go through so many viral infections on their own that the lower C corona, they're in it all the time. So they've acclimatized to it. And so it's not taking so much of a big hit. Um, in the, it's luckily, knock wood, as a parent, let's you know, hope that that continues. So what we want to do is mentally, emotionally, spiritually, vibrationally acclimatize to it. The more you're afraid of it, it's becoming the big dark monster in the corner. And it's going to get legs and roots and it's going to grow on its own. So many of people are afraid to go outside. Don't go outside because it's the best practice. Don't be afraid to go outside though. So again, you might have to wear gloves. You might have to bring wipes with you. Um, yes, you might have to you know, get rid of all the packaging that you're bringing into the house, washing fruits with um, you know, banana. I'm, I'm washing a banana like I've never washed a banana before because someone's touched that banana along the, the, the production line and you just don't think about it. Um, there's a really good YouTube video uh, I've posted, but I will share it again. It's actually a, a surgeon in the States who is teaching uh, everyone how to bring in their groceries uh, from a surgical sterile space. So, you know, he, he wears his gloves. He goes to the grocery store with gloves. He, he takes everything out with gloves. 
He has sections. He takes all the wrapping off of all the plastics, puts it in another sterile container like a Tupperware or a Ziploc bag. Um, he disposes of the, the outer wrapping and the garbage, gets rid of the garbage, then sanitizes everything afterwards. And of course, uh, when it's uh, foods like a, like a fruit or something, they wash it with soap um, really, really well. So yes, we might have to start doing that. But again, we've got food. The production line is there. We're not yet uh, in a situation um, that is that dire and knock wood that it doesn't go that way. Another thing that's interesting about the virus that's been talked about, again, uh, reminding you that I'm not a medical doctor, so you're going to have to talk to your medical health professional about what this means to you. A lot of people are saying that um, the virus is, is activated or amplified through Advil or ibuprofen, that a lot of the people who got really, really, really sick and, and or possibly died had a lot of Advil or ibuprofen medicine inside of them before that. Uh, which is a common um, remedy, I believe, for arthritis and older people and colds and headaches and all kinds of things. So the suggestion is where possible, if you can't, again, some people cannot take Tylenol, the option is Tylenol, uh, if you take pharmaceutical medicines at all. So what I did immediately when I heard that is better safe than sorry. I actually don't need to see the stats because my son and I can take Tylenol. So I just switched my Advil for, for Tylenol for now just to be safe versus sorry. So please do your research on that to see what that might mean to you. Uh, do the research out in the, you know, the universe uh, to see if there's any studies being proven. Uh, again, um, just some little tidbits that I've been picking up as I do my own research. Um, again, it's all about vibration, so do what you wanna do. Uh, laughter is the best remedy right now. So joy, joy, joy. The opportunity we have as a species is to go within, to go in, to go up, as my friend Pam says. And it's about meditation, it's about dreaming, it's about creativity. I've been sort of losing my mind sitting in front of Netflix, right? Um, I got caught up in how am I gonna pay my bills? Oh my God, how am I gonna teach my son? He's not learning, ah, the world is ending. So I did kind of the chicken little thing a couple days ago and I realized I'm not taking advantage of, one, taking care of um, unfinished business. So going back to do unfinished business. Uh, uh, cleaning up projects, decluttering, um, reorganizing, um, you know, learning something that you wanted to learn. I have a ton of um, uh, webinars in the bank of my, you know, inventory that I just haven't had time for that I'm pulling out and learning about. Um, what else? So unfinished business, creativity. So really an opportunity to get creative. Um, really let your spirit speak. This is the first time that most of us on mass have had a quiet time to look and listen, right? To look within ourselves, to look around, to look at our lives, to reflect and review uh, and respond. So this is a huge opportunity that humanity needs to take or else we're not gonna learn the lesson and bigger lessons are gonna come, which is not so good. Um, what else? Um, spiritual up leveling. So, Last night, there was a bit of a dip around 7.30. It was a bit of a clusterfuck. I kind of had a bad moment. Uh, luckily, I have some good friends that I can call and go, ah, what the heck's going on? Um, my whole body was in pain. Uh, so physical pain, can uh, achy joints, uh, mine were my hips, um, skeletal stuff. Um, so for me, it was a sign of an upgrade, but my body was physically hurt. Uh, I refrained from taking any of those Tylenols or medicines. Uh, use my tiger bomb or my arnica, which again is for pain relief. So having some arnica around is not a bad idea either, guys. Uh, if you don't know about that, that's a good one for your tickle trunk. Um, and recognizing that some of those physical body aches and pains you're having are actually energy up leveling, uh, which is great. Uh, but again, you just breathe through it. You, you, you dive deep into it. You ground into it. You get deeper roots. You go even deeper to hold on while something is stretching you up. So that's you know what's happening overall to a lot of us, um, most people, um, if they allow it to happen, a lot of people are escaping through the internet, which thank God we're on right now because that's how I'm talking to you. But Instagram, Facebook, you know, Zoom, um, uh, apparently like the first hour that uh, we were um, all sort of in isolation, the Pornhub website crashed. So people are escaping, you know, uh, Tinder went down, you know, porn went up, 
And again, I'm not judging that. Do whatever you got to do to make yourself happy. But it's more of a self-reflection opportunity is, is you as a life purpose for you. Who do you want to be in the world? What is it that you want to create? Um, what are the things dreaming? It's really important for all of us to dream once again. Doing your vision boards, um, doing your visualizations, um, asking questions. So this is what, something I do want to uh, have the participants write down is what are some of the questions to ask? So uh, many of you who follow me, come to my meditation nights, watch my Facebook lives, know that I'm all about the question right now. In the past, you know, up to 2019, I was all about finding the answer. I was a seeker of the answer. Uh, one, because I give answers to people. I give advice all the time. Uh, two, I'm just nosy. And three, I don't trust God enough to allow and faith and trust. So I want to know first what's going to happen so I can control my environment. So for those of us who are control freaks, uh, this virus is scary because we're out of control. And we have to, again, trust, surrender, faith. These are the big themes. These are the big lessons that we're all learning. So instead of me then like losing my mind, not being able, again, losing my mind, my monkey mind, not being able to figure stuff out, because again, it's way above my pay grade. It is all about asking the right questions. Simply put, you put it out there to the universe. The universe, the intelligent architect, the, the life force, the God creator, whatever you call it, is smarter than all of us put together, of course, and it will then show you the answer once you pose it. So this is part of the co-creativity piece of this sort of particular viral uh, event. It is uh, literally gone viral. Like we are going viral because we need to get back to our life purpose. We need to get back to the planet. We need to get back to nature, human nature, uh, mother nature. Um, we need to get back to talking to people, relationships, again, social distancing, but, you know, really understanding people, hearing them, listening to them. We're all watching me talk right now. We're watching other people on webinars and all the musicians playing and all the, the free um, learning opportunities, Yale University opening up their archives and all this kind of cool stuff. So it is about three questions. I mean, there's more than these, but I'm just giving you three basic ones to start with. Again, this is sort of your basic first aid kit that I'm giving everyone today in this hour experience. So write down these questions. Some of you already know them. Uh, others, this might be new. Uh, these are from Access Bars. These are not my questions, just so you know. Um, these, uh, just Google Access Bars, I believe it's Gary Douglas and Darren something or other invented this process. And um, I took the class and now it kind of is part of my my thinking, my being, my doing. So the first question is, what else is possible? Really important question right now, given that there is so much scarcity, change, um, you know, new, new regulations coming down every hour sometimes. Um, what else is possible? So when you ask that question, you're inviting the universe to show you the alternative. Uh, so for my example, for my son in homeschooling, what else is possible? What else is possible? Maybe I'm gonna to talk to one of the moms about, can you lead um, a class uh, for an hour a day and I'll do another one and we'll all join each other on Zoom. One, by the way, that just came right now. That idea just popped in my head just now. Um, so all, like there's all my friends, uh, my kids' friends are in the same boat. They're trying to work from home, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, while we have our kids, and some of them have multiple kids at home. So, uh, fortunately, all of us can afford the internet, and knock wood, fortunately, the internet is still working. So, what else is possible? Maybe um, once a week, uh, sorry, one, one hour a day, uh, I find five moms, right, to do five hours or four hours or three hours of daily activity. And again, it gives us something to look at. We can see our friends. Uh, gives the other mom a break. So what else is possible invites alternative solutions. Let's say you're losing your job. What else is possible? Well, hopefully right now the liberal, liberal government will come through with its benefits, its support, its EI, and its packages. I'm in the same boat. What else is possible? How am I going to pay my bills next month? What else is possible? Well, government funding will kick in hopefully soon. 
Um, the next question is, uh, how can it get any better than this? How can it get any better than this? And when you say that question in particular, um, you're meant to do it with like, oh, how can I get any better than this? It's like the juiciness. You want to say it with vigor. You want to say it with passion. You want to say it with faith. Like, urgh, like you're going to take a bite out of life. And you know, what else is possible? How can it get any better than this? And putting it out there. In fact, I say that question every shitty thing that happens right after every shitty thing that happens. It gets my mind out of a negative mindset. It gets me into resolution solution. It gets me into magic and miracle. And interestingly enough, will actually calm me down in that very moment. So practice this particular question when some negative event has come into your field and you're like, uh-oh, maybe something's taking you by surprise. You've had some kind of emotional you know, reaction to something or someone, a piece of news maybe. How can it get any better than this? And you do it reaching over that perceived negative to get to the other side, which is the solution, the healed outcome. Again, please do it with that, oh, that feeling of how can it get any like delight, wonder, deliciousness, all that kind of thing. Last question, uh, again from Access Bars, um, what is right about the situation that I'm not getting? What is right about the situation that I'm not seeing, that I don't know, that I'm not getting? When you take that approach to that negative situation or problem, you'll actually see the blessing in disguise. So what's right about this situation is that humanity has an opportunity to up-level, that humanity has an opportunity to, to get quiet, to self-reflect, to go within, to level up, to reconnect to spirit, God, energy, life, nature, and uh, change. It's change management 101 on a, on a quantum level. So that's what what's right about the situation. I just want to double check the, um, uh, yes, good. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat boxes. So that's the questions, okay, guys? Again, I can put this out there. Uh, I can rewrite them for you. Um, the last piece before I want to jump in on the meditation is when you're in crowds, okay, not that we're supposed to be in crowds right now, but inevitably, you know, let's say we're going to the gas station, the, 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 the grocery stores. Yes, they're, um, right now they have plexiglass around the cashiers. Um, you know, um, they're only letting certain people in now at most gro large grocery stores at a time. Um, they're pacing us in, they're pacing us out. So it's like, like getting in line at an at a, uh, airport, right? All of us know that anxiety starts to kick in. The armpits start to sweat and you start to, ugh, you start to like feel the anxiety of others or feel the anxiety of, will I get through? Can I, can I get to the end? I just want to get out. I just want to get through this situation. So really important to, again, we're going to do it in a minute. So I'm going to teach you this. We're going to ground into the earth like roots of a grape tree. So immediately you say, activate root and ground, right? You want to lock yourself in the center of the earth. You want to reach up all the way to the sky. Again, you can imagine the kind of the tree pose concept. Um, then you want to put that force field of energy around you. Again, we're going to teach you how to do this in a minute. And then you're going to push your field out. You're going to, through breath work, intention, imagination, seeing your field go out. And first of all, creating a safe space around you. Uh, so that one, you're safe, two, that you're in the flow. The, the second concept of this, um, let's say, technique is to say to yourself or out loud, uh, what did I write? I'm in the flow and the flow brings me everything I require. I am in the flow and the flow brings me everything I require. I am in the flow and the flow brings me everything that I require. So as you're sitting there like waiting in line or stressing out, like maybe it's in the, you know, some kind of medical office or in line for something. Um, I kind of had to freak out at the, um, the drive-through today with my son because everyone had the same idea. We couldn't really go anywhere. So getting takeout is an event, you know? Um, and we were happy to have it as a distraction. 
Uh, but I started to get anxiety with all the cars trying to jockey in and not everyone is a nice person. You know how that happens. So again, I rooted in the car. I went through the car into the earth and I had my son do the same thing. I, I kind of told him what to do. And I put the force field around our car, one for protection in space to create our space, making sure that our bubble is safe, clean and clear. Rooting up, rooting down. And then I put it out there. My mantra, my intention, my computer intention was I am in the flow and the flow brings me everything I desire. So interestingly enough, I was in the slow line of the local drive through and I was like, oh, I picked the wrong line and I hate that. In general, I just hate that. So all of a sudden, Liam and I started breathing and, and just pushing energy out, but gently, like not like, like trying to by force, but using the power of the force. Well, guess what? My line kicked out. Like someone just wanted coffee. The next guy just wanted fries. The orders weren't, uh, um, you know, um, long and my line just started to move really fast. And I was in and out in very short period of time. And, but, but looking at the visual of the chaos I had put myself into that moment, I was like, oh snap, this is going to be long. But then change the thought, change the vibration, use the power. And I actually got through it really, really easily. And Liam and I were singing songs and having fun. So it does work. I've done it in airports. This is a technique I've done a long time ago, many moons, many ways. It will work if you do it. The trick is to root in the earth, grab the sky, feel around you, and push the energy out, setting an intention. I'm in the flow. The flow brings me what I require. Um, what else? Those are the main ones. Um, if anyone has any other suggestions, uh, please feel free go, to go back to the Facebook event page that you saw this original um, event listed on and just in the comment section, start putting some of yours down. But these are very basic but powerful energy medicine techniques that will amplify your field your mindset, your spiritual vibration, so that you become the repellent um, to negative lower vibration people, thoughts, and of course, uh, viruses out there in general. Um, oh, sorry, two more things I wanna add. Sorry, I just realized I did forget something uh, right, written down, is the write out technique. So when you're having a freak out, uh, the write out technique is an angel technique uh, that you get a piece of paper, you write down your thoughts right away. Your negative thoughts come flowing out of you and uh, you um, don't reread the paper. So here's the trick. When you write, you're writing out. It's a free form stream of consciousness going out. You could say, fuck, 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 fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You put your pen down and you cannot read, fuck you. You cannot read whatever you wrote because reading it re-imprints it and then you have to do it all over again. So as long as you're writing it out, one stream of consciousness out, put your pen down, you fold the piece of paper, and you go outside and you burn it. So you burn it in a fireplace, barbecue, pie plate, uh, safely inside or outside, whichever you can do. It actually removes that frequency out of your field right away. Uh, my son and I love doing it because, uh, well, he likes just to burn things. Um, and it really does work and help you with your mindset. So it's, it's an energy medicine technique called the right out. Um, regarding food, I just want to loop back. One of the things I missed to suggest is blessing your food. So uh, Dr. Dar Darren um, is at Wiseman invented infinite love and gratitude, infinite love and gratitude. It's the, it's a, it's the love uh, in um, sign language and infinite love and gratitude and using the um you know the palm chakras he he is energizing um uh, it's an auric field clearing using the intention of infinite love and gratitude uh, as the prayer um so that's one technique infinite love and gratitude um the, the old ways you know through the sort of the christian model is putting your hands over the food but not like this so excuse me, not like this this cuts off energy. So this is not um, full prayer. This is. So namaste position uh, or hands flat over the food. And the color of fire I would use is purple. So imagine purple fire. It's called the violet flame. 
healing energy coming out of your hands, energizing your food, blessing it, removing any taint, uh, uh, removing any viral, any sort of imprint, anything that is lower vibration. You got to do this with intention for a good minute though. So it takes a little longer than you think. It's with breath and focus and you're building up the energy and sort of energizing, re-alchemizing whatever you're uh, wanting to eat, touch, uh, or having to be around. So that's another technique. Again, the basic model for this virus is the violet flame in the sense of the anti-remedy. So in sacred fire healing medicine, sacred fire is a color. Uh, white is all the colors of the rainbow. Um, it's the highest, but the purple frequency is the violet flame. It's called the purple Holy Spirit. Um, it's called the cosmic corrector, purple great fire by shamans, uh, the violet flame, uh, the violet fire. You can Google it ad nauseum. There's whole, um, like spiritual organizations built around the violet flame. It is a universal energy though, that belongs to our breath. It's in our beating heart. It's in the air. It's in every single thing. So it does not take a religious uh, understanding of it to use it or to activate it. And it becomes the prime repellent for negative energy, for the virus, uh, and for all things that are the, the virus is attracted to. So using purple fire all the time in your body, um, you know, amethyst, um, lapidolite, um, the purples uh, would be great. Eating purples like your eggplants, your beets, uh, it's not really purple, but you get what I'm saying, purple carrots. Um, wearing purple, having purple around you, great, great, great. But it's really the visualization and the act activation of using that fire. Again, I'm going to teach it to you right now. For those of you who follow me, you've done this a million times, guys. And again, we're just going back to basics, reaffirming, recalibrating ourselves to what the situation is calling us to do, going back to ourselves, going back to the basics of our humanity, which is mind, body, spirit, emotions, finances, and feeling side of life. Again, we're energy beings. Raise your vibration, raise your energy, and uh, things will flow to you, through you, for you, and from you in a positive way, all right? So now what we're gonna do is if anyone needs to go to the bathroom, um, I'm gonna do um, a four minute break right now. I'm just gonna get some water. Uh, we're gonna come back and do a, a guided meditation. It's very simple, guys. It is simply rooting yourself in the planetary uh, uh, core, going up to the great central sun above us, locking in our, our tube of light of protection and activating the violet flame. Again, this is the beginning of all my work. Um, any sort of sacred ceremony I've ever done with anyone, we start with this basic protocol. If you do this several times a day, again, at every wash and break, you will feel so much more balanced, energized, hopeful, joy-filled. If you combine it by asking those three questions and eating the high vibration foods, things will flow faster, smoother, and easier. All right, so we're gonna take a four minute break. I'm gonna go get some water, come back, and at like 3.52, and uh, we'll see you for a 10 minute meditation, all right? Any questions, pop them in here in the chat box. Um, I don't see any, da, 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 da. yeah, so uh, I'll see you in four.
Okay, I'm back. So I just, uh, my phone was upstairs and I saw that a bunch of you were having problems signing in. Um, not sure what to tell you guys. Zoom is a creature in of itself that I'm still sort of navigating. Um, I don't particularly find it so user friendly. Uh, there's a lot of functionality issues that I've put my like little um, ticket in for. Um, I'm glad Amanda and Jane, you got in. Jen Kusa, um, don't know what to tell you why some people are not having a problem and some people do. Uh, there's nothing really on my end that I can do about that. So I apologize in advance. It is sort of until um, I can see what I can do. Uh, I think it's sort of technology, the glitch. I mean, Zoom is also being overrun. Um, you know, these days um, as a medium of communication. So um, maybe it's just glitching out, but um, hopefully um, everyone will be able to get a replay of this and then watch this later on. Um, if you're not for some reason being able to catch the live experience. So let me just be clear. Right now we're just doing a very simple uh, living in the world meditation. Um, it's just a visualization, a breath work exercise that uses sacred fire healing energy that uses very high level concepts um, on a spiritual energy level that gets you out in the world um, that you could do for your children, uh, your homes, your, your pets, uh, your property, your, your cars, your bikes, whatever you've got. Very useful, needs to be done several times a day. So this is sort of the caveat. It needs to be done several times a day. Uh, moving forward, as I've mentioned in other uh, Facebook Lives and Zoom webinars, I'm going to be coming on once a week, uh, probably every Friday around this time, uh, doing some webinars, so some teaching, some uh, either uh, part healing guided journey uh, and then part education. I think I'm going to charge uh, $10, um, you know, uh, a week uh, for the weekly um, experience um just to keep people going and flowing to take advantage of the opportunity of going within and up in and up um so that when we do go back in society we're sort of you know a 2.0 version of ourselves and we can manifest uh you know all the solutions we're looking for so if you're interested let me know um uh i'll be part of probably doing an event yeah next week so uh ten dollars and we'll go from there and see what's what. So right now, I hope everyone's back. Uh, 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 um, let's take a, a deep breath in everyone, deep breath out. <sighs> okay, palms up on the lap, just relax your hands, palm up, feet flat on the floor or um, in your mind's eye, your feet are reaching the floor, you could be lying down as well. Just let's take some deep breaths up and out. So one, two, three, four, hold, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, hold, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just up and down breathing. Feel your chest rise and fall. Breathe in, hope, breathe out, anxiety. Really fill your lungs up. Exhale out. Focusing on your feet. Imagine great ancient roots grow out of your feet like a tree. And with your out breath, allow those roots to fall through the soil rock and bedrock of the planet, down deeper and deeper. And imagine that your intention is to go to the center of the earth herself. And imagine that when you get to the center of the earth, I want you to wrap your energy roots 
so tightly, much like a ball of yarn looks like. Around, 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 around. The center of the earth is a big ball of fire, but it's not regular fire. It's called sacred fire or holy fire. It does not burn, it transforms. So using your intention and your breath, really important for these days and the next couple months, is to have an intimate connection to the earth. Now with your up breath, breathe up the earth's fire to fully encompass you. Imagine you become fully engr engrossed, engulfed with the red, um, white, yellow, orange flames of the center of the earth. Remembering that this fire does not burn, it transforms. And almost like you could pull up a sleeve, a costume, up, up, and up. Breathe up the fire through your soles, your feet, ankles, shins, calves, knees, thighs, buttocks, hips. Imagine it going over your root chakra, lower stomach, lower back, up, up, and up. Middle stomach, middle back. With each breath down, scoop up the earth's fire and breathe it back up, up, and up, and pull it even higher, upper chest, upper back. With your breath down, scoop up the earth's fire from the center of the earth over your shoulders. Let it cascading down each arm over your hands and fingertips. With each breath down, scoop up the earth's fire and move it over the front of the throat, back of the neck, front of the face, back of the head. Moving down, 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 scooping up the earth's fire. Top of the head, fully engrossed, fully engulfed. Imagine your physical features dissolving and disappearing into the fire. You're no longer flesh, human. You're a being of fire. Make sure you're 360 degrees covered all directions, front, back, left, right, up, down. Feel that sense of calm and peace that comes with the connection to Mother Earth herself. Then we're reaching up and out and shooting that fire out, 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 like fireworks all the way up, higher, higher, higher. Imagine the beautiful physical sun above us. Connect to that beautiful ball of light, the yellow fire above us that gives us life, nurturing, vitamin D, hope. And allow the golden fire healing energy of the sun to pour down over you like hot liquid honey. Imagine this hot liquid honey is actually gold, pure molten gold, liquid gold. And it is creating a shield of protection around you now. The inside is still the sacred fire, the orange of the earth. And the outside is becoming the golden pure sheen of the sun. Again, the golden fire is um, a, um, making the uh, orange fire dissolve and disappear inside, containing it. And it goes all the way down to the center of the earth. At the center of the earth in the earth's core, we mix, of course, earth, fire, and sky. So the sun and the earth meet. Below us, and with the up breath, it changes color to purple. This is where the violet flame comes up, guys. 
The violet flame is now erupting around us like a volcano or tornado, a funnel cloud. You are standing in the middle, grounded and rooted in the earth. All around you is the violet flame spinning to the right. It is going up and it is going down. It is moving up and down, almost like a cosmic car wash. Removing anything negative out of your field. It's about um, arms width wide. If you extend your arms fingertip to fingertip, you're standing in the middle of it. It is fully engrossed you, encompassed you, embracing you, and all around you in your space. Repeat the mantra out loud. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity love desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity love desires. Deep breaths in and out. And again, with your breath work, allow the violet flame to take away any negativity any event, situation, condition, fear, thought that's in your field. Deep breaths in and out, allowing your out breath to expel out any anxiety, uncertainty, fear, doubt. Feel your body start to relax, get soft. Now extend out that violet flame circumference to your friends and family, whoever you're living with right now, your pets, the people, your neighborhood, your neighbors. Start to violet flame them as well. Removing any negativity any lower vibration, event, circumstance, situation, or thought. Go to your neighborhood, extend it out further, the city, town, or village you live in. Keep breathing. Some of you are going to start to notice you're rocking because now you're rocking with the planet. See your province or state. See the country you live in. Now we're going global and seeing all of the countries in the world, the whole planet. We include, of course, the water, the plants, the minerals, the animals, the air, the earth. We're setting the intention. We are clearing earth, air, fire, water, wood, metal, ether, the seven elements of creation. See the planet all the way out to outer space. We're actually now clearing the outer space around the planet as if we were some kind of satellite. and removing any kind of manipulation, distortion from other forces. Clearing up the um, cosmic airwaves around us. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out, bringing that energy back down, 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 down. Closer and closer back to you. Bringing it home to your body. Focusing on any area right now that's in pain, that needs extra energy, extra support. If you don't know where to go, use your lungs as the place to violet flame to keep your immune system clean, clear. 
Violet flame your lymph nodes, your adrenal glands. Repeat out loud again. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity love desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. Again, some of you will start to feel heavy, woozy. This is normal. Last thing we're gonna do is add in the shield of protection. So repeat, activate tube of light. From the center of the earth, imagine now pure white fire comes up as a tube, a cylinder, all around you. Again, if you extended your arms out, it'd be fingertip to fingertip wide. It is the tube of light of protection around you. It is pure white fire. It's about like three feet thick, a wall of fire, almost looks silver white with a bit of blue in it. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. For those of you who are mothers or caregivers, or have pets or pet parents, place your loved ones inside your tube of light. Put your homes, your finances, your bank accounts, your wallets, your cars, property. Knowing that within that silver boundary, that tube of light of protection, the violet flame is working. It's a constant active frequency, like a fan that is moving energy and chomping away anything negative. It is mulching, consuming, transmuting anything lower vibration. Notice what's happening to your body. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Two hands, palm up, facing down on the chest. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Repeat, I am so grateful, I am so grateful. I am so grateful. We open our eyes, we put our hands in prayer pose and we clap. It is done, it is done, it is done. Close your eyes, take a last deep breath in. Deep breath out, come back to your body, wiggle your, um, move your body, your shoulders, your arms, your limbs your hips, roll your shoulders, roll your neck. Notice what is different. Many of you will see the world much more clearly. The colors will be sharper. You should feel looser, more open, more relaxed. Um, I did this particular exercise very, very slowly. Once you practice it several times a day, again, I'm recommending you do that every time you uh, go to the washroom. Um, it will become something that you can actively do, activate tube of light and all elements come online. So the grounding to the earth, the connection to the sky, the violet flame tornado spinning right, and the tube of light um, protection will come instantly. So the more you practice it, the stronger it becomes. The more you do it, uh, the stronger and the uh, quicker and stronger it becomes. All right, so this is about using it often. Um, so this is what the ancient prophecies have always told us. This technique has been given to us uh, in North America since the 1930s. If you believe in extraterrestrial uh, history, like the Palladians from Barbara Marciniak, probably since the beginning of Earth's creation uh, from the planet Venus. So whatever you want to know it as, just know it's a very ancient technique that was given to humanity to purify their fields 
to repel uh, negative energy, keep them safe and connected to source. Uh, if you Google tube of light on the internet, you'll get a beautiful, beautiful visual picture of it that I encourage you to print out and keep around so you can get a visual of what you're supposed to look like on an energy level every day. All right, guys, so let me know how you're doing. Uh, give me a bit of a chat box uh, response here and uh, let me know. We went over time. I'm so sorry. My eyes were closed. So we went 15 minutes over. So just let me know how we're doing. And again, you can come back to this exercise as often as you wish. Um, I will have it on a replay soon for you and be able to put that link out. You can share it with others because it's a free experience. Uh, send it to as many people as you want. Do it as often as you can. Uh, again, I am uh, offering my little sort of $10 uh, one hour sort of webinars, once a week things to keep people connected. So let me know if you're interested in that. I am still seeing clients. Uh, over Zoom or over telephone, it is a great time to do some um, ancestral clearing, uh, some future destiny work, uh, activating creativity, life purpose, all that good stuff. It is a prime opportunity to do that. So um, you can go to my website, jenniferclark.ca, um, if you want to participate that way. And April, I think 16th, is my next group meditation night that we'll be doing on Zoom. That will be um, two hours and $20 on April 16th. It's my monthly meditation night that, of course, we're just moving to Zoom during this situation. So look forward to seeing you then. Um, any questions, find me on the Facebook um, Soulful Solutions page for this event so we can talk to each other. Uh, I answer questions for more than one person. That would be great. And um, all good uh, weekly. Yes, thank you. Interested, great. I'm happy to see that. Remember, doing the best you can right now, getting outside in nature as often as you can, social distancing, of course, uh, but going through um, some of the things we talked about, using those basic elements uh, to support you in being the best uh, human beingness, spiritual being that you can be. All right, guys, remember, when it's dark outside, what do we do? Keep the light on. Love you all. Peace. Thanks for joining.